as 80. Somebody read that verse because of time. Leo Sikumish. Leo Minaubi Dogo Alafu. Hallelujah. Mateno ya ekima ya mungu. The works of the wisdom of God. Now we have used the wisdom. The wisdom of God. Ekima ya mungu ni upumbafu kwa wanandamu. Fasi kwa hindi ya kakawamu kwa asitimu. Kuna mungu wakasoma ni mbadi mbadi. Abari ya walk off Always come tomorrow Come next year It will continue to be Foolishness Mbuni kulizu zwa Kama siyo ujinga Wewe Ukona biyashara yako na umeifunga Na ungefungua sahi Ungepata pesa Lakini ulifunga Ukuye kupigiwa kelele kanisani Hiyo ndiyo upumbafu. Watu watu wa wajaokoka wanaona ni upumbafu. Badala ya kwenda kanisani nikabiliwe kelele na huyu mchungaji na yeye ameshiba. Sinieni nikafungue biashara yangu. Kwa dunia always mambo ya wokofu ni upumbafu. Amen. Amen. Unandaiwa school fees. Alafu ukienda kanisani mhubiri anasema ati utoe fungu la kumi. Na mtoto 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 yule school fees haijakamilika na umepata pay lakini unasikia kuitoa pay pase ukienda kwa dunia hiyo inaitwa foolishness inaitwa foolishness lakini maneno yanasema maana ujumbe wa msalaba ni ujinga kwa wale ambao wanapotea but to us It is the power of God. Sasa, hichi kitu ambacho kinaonekana kuwa ni upumbavu. Naomba kupitia hicho kitu, the power of God ilionekane katika maisha yako. Amen. Tulikuwa tunakataa kulala zenzi hizo tukiwa vijana. Mimi nilikuwa nakataa kulala naenda kukesha kanisani peke yangu. Una siku moja nile fast na siku wa pasta. Una siku moja nile fast, nika fast, nika fast, nika fast na napastia kanisa ambao mimi si fast. Ni wakati si kwa mchungaji nilikuwa nataka kuona Mungu kwa ile kanisa nilikuwa naenda. Mpaka nafika mahali nauliza Mungu, uko kwa hii kanisa nataka kukuo. Yaani fanya kitu Mungu wangu nikuone kama uko kwa hii kanisa. Ni nafasi. Nilifasti siku moja. Mali nikaenda. And I was teaching every Monday. By God. Nilienda kwa church nikafundisha Biblia na nikaenda kumaliza nikafaint. Ah. Songa songa kwa hii kitu. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Sema ukumbaku. Lakini kwambia kutokana na hiyo tabia ule upako, ule upako ambao tunapata hapo. Dunia yenyewe inaanza kukutafuta. Maandiko yanasema Yesu alitoka kwa mlima na watu wengi wakamfuata. Hauwezi ukafuatwa usipokuwa na Mungu. Mtu huwa anafuata yule ako na Mungu. Mtu afuata yule ako na matusi. Halo? Hii kitu ambacho kinaonekana ni ukumbaku. Wewe kuatana nacho. I promise you na sio mimi nimeenda promise you will see the benefit of this. Wacha niwaambie kidogo kidogo kama hii kidogo kitu nimeshia kwa kidogo. Nimeona manufaa ya kuokoka. Nimeona manufaa ya kuokoka. Na hatujafika mbinguni bado. Hatujafika bwana sipe sana. We are sick tunatafuta mbinguni lakini ukiwa hapa duniani kuna vile unaweza tembea na Bwana katika hiyo kitu kinaonekana kama ni ukumbao. You are serving God watu wanakuambia unajionyesha kwa mchungaji, unajipendekeza kwa bishop. Wewe tumikia Mungu kwa hicho kitu cha ujinga, you will see God. Amen. Wengine wanakuambia unatumiwa vibaya kwa hii kanisa, toroka, enda kwa ingine. Wajana nao. Amen. Hiyo kitu ambacho kinaonekana ni ujinga. Hapo ndiyo tunapata wokovu. Yes. Kuna watu wanachiona very wise, wise in the things of God. Na hii Mungu anasema mambo ya hekima ya dunia hii tukifika kwa Mungu ni upumbavu. 
Bwana asifiwe. Yeah. Weka hekima ya kibinadamu kando tumikia Mungu katika ukumbafu na imani. Yeah. We serve God through faith alone. Peke yake imani. Wachana na watu. Wachana na your brothers. Wachana na your sisters. Wachana na your fellow brethren in the church. They can be so negative. Eh, hey, but it's our God in that is stupidity. Through faith you will see God. Amen. I'm telling you, hakuna mtu aliyeaminika kutoa fungu la kumi akakosa kuona Mungu. Hakuna mtu aliyeishi na utakatifu, Mungu atakakataa kubeba Mungu. Hakuna mtu aliyeishi kwa unyenyekevu, akakataa kumuliwa na Mungu. Hallelujah. Katika hiyo kumbao hapa ndio tunaona Mungu. For us it is the power of God. Waja niwaambie, mimi nataka verse 27 na tuko verse 18. Baba tusome verse 19. Hallelujah. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, the intelligence of the intelligent I will frustrate. Imeandikwa ni taribu hekima ya walio na hekima. Hii kitu ya wokofu kama kuna hekima inahitajika ni ile imetoka kwa roho mtakatifu peke yake si ya masomo wale ni kwambie pita 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 according to masomo ya Kenya na Kiingereza ya UK Peter was an illiterate Peter there was he was just a fisher man in fact wakikutana na Yesu alikuwa amevaa kinyasa kwa sababu watu wa kizungu mnajua Mtu akikuwa samani akwagi na drosa. Lakini katika hiyo mtu ambaye anaonekana ni fisherman, Yohana, Yakobo wana wa Zebedi, Andrew. Wakati walikutana na hii kitu kinaonekana kuwa ni ujinga and they followed this young man who was not married. To a wit ungeza church. Yes. Peter was a married man. Lakini akakutana na mtu yangu ambaye ni Yesu. Sema Yesu. But wakati ali passive ali passive ya kwamba huyu si mtu huyu ni mwana wa Mungu Peter decided to follow Mwambie wenzako decide to follow Jesus Hallelujah Amen. Watu wengi wanafuata waubiri na wafuati Yesu Watu wengi wanafuata makanisa na wafuati Yesu Jaribu kufuata Yesu ukifuata mubiri Wacha mubiri awe wacha pa Yesu awe yeki ndiye wa kwanza unafuata ndiye unafuata wa ubibi ndiye unafuata kanisa bwana yesu asifiwe maana bwana amechangua ah we read in verse 20 for it is written to be verse like this maana imeandikwa ni taarifa ya kina ya wadio na hekima for it is written i will destroy the wisdom of the wise the intelligence of the intelligent and the plastic eh wana sayansi wana sayansi wana sayansi ati mungu ati mwanadamu alitoka kwa nyani he he kwa kama ulisoma kitu kama hizo shule ni ngono wewe ulisikia story kama hizo ati mungu alitoka kwa nyani alafu hizo pia eh ah Bwana anasema ataharibu hizo wisdom. Ndio tukuja kujua kujua ya kwamba yeye ndiye aliumba Adam. Hakuna kitu kama hiyo. Si umejisikia? Hebu yeah. soma mbele next verse nasema hivi. Next verse verse 20. Where is the wise person? Where is those people who are wise when demons are frustrating men and women? Where is the teacher of the law? Where where are those teachers of the law? Where is the philosopher of this age? Where are the philosophers of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? Si Mungu amefanya hekima ya binadamu kuwa ni upumbavu. Ama hekima ya dunia kuwa ni upumbavu. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 21. Verse 21. Since in the wisdom of God the world through its wisdom did not know him. God was pleased through the foolishness of what Oh my God Kiswahili that was who believed Maana kwa hekima ya binadamu hakuna mtu angeweza kumuelewa Mungu Sasa hapo ndio wanadamu wanakosea Watu wanajaribu kumuelewa Mungu 
kwa hekima na kibinadamu usi usihangaika nitakueleza kitu vizuri kwanza tuseme Kiswahili kwanza Kiswahili kwanza that pass which pass is what pass 20 pass 21 soma na Kiswahili pass 21 inasema hivi kwa maana katika hekima ya Mungu dunia isipopata kumjua Mungu kwa hekima yake mwae dunia haikuweza kumuelewa Mungu alafu kwa hekima yake kwa hekima yake Mungu alipenda kuwaokoa waamini hiyo kwa upuzi wa lile neno lililoumbiriwa. Tuone soma ile Kiswahili yetu umeifungua. Maana maana kambi ya hekima ya Mungu. Ehe, watu hawawezi kumjua Mungu kwa njia ya hekima yao. That is the cheapest Kiswahili everybody can understand. Badala yake Mungu rudia 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 pole pole. Maana kambi ya hekima ya Mungu. Ehe. Watu hawawezi kumjua Mungu kwa njia ya hekima yao wenyewe. Okay. Badala yake Mungu amependa amependa kuwaokoa wale wanaoamini kwa njia ya kile ambacho wenye hekima wanakiona kuwa ni ukumbafu. Bwana sikio. Yaani mimi tunao hii. Yaani huu jumla wa wokofu wa imani tunayo hii. Hii ujumla inaonekana kuwa ni ukumbafu. Bwana ameamua watu wamjue kupitia that message ambao ni stupidity stupidity tutaoa. Watu hawezi kumjua Mungu kwa hekima zao. Acha niwaonyeshe vile watu wanajaribu kujua Mungu wakiwa kwa makanisa. Mpaka kwa kanisa kama hii. Watu wao wanajaribu kujua Mungu, wanasema ndiposa tusikizane na Mungu kabisa, tununue uniform ya nguo za white. Sisi sote tufange white. Tukienda kanisani tuwe white. Watu wanajaribu kujua Mungu. Hiyo ni hekima ya kibinadamu acha nikwambie. Hata mkivaa white. Wengine wanafika mahali wanasema mkitaka tukitaka tujue Mungu kabisa kabisa kwa hii kanisa letu ama kwa hii kabila letu. Wacha sisi tukienda kanisani tutembeange pole pole. Watu wanajaribu kumjua Mungu lakini wanatumia hekima Yeah. Zao. Yeah. Lakini nao haiwezekani. Mungu anajulikana kupitia this message we preach. Hallelujah. Usijali tunaenda na wewe. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Ku through this message of salvation, ukiipokea vizuri na uachane na mambo ya dunia hii. Uachane na maisha yako ya kitabu. Yaani ufanye kama Nicodemus. Nicodemus alienda kwa Yesu akaambiwa, akaongeza maswali kabla. Ukitaka lazima uzaliwe mara ya pili. Akauliza hao hao, mimi niko na mtefu. Nywele yangu ni yoyote, akaambiwa lazima uzaliwe kwa roho. Hiyo ni upumbavu. We are next verse inasema hivi verse 23. Inasema verse 22. Jews demand signs and Greeks look for wisdom. Wayahudi walikuwa wanataka ishara. Na wayunani walikuwa wanataka hekima. Ngoja hapo. Hiyo ni wakati wa Yesu. Unakumbuka siku moja Yesu watu wayahudi walimwambia Yesu, utafanya ishara gani ndio tukuamini? Yesu akawaambia, hiki kizazi hakitaonyeshwa ishara yoyote isipokuwa ile ishara ya Yona. Vile Yona alikaa kwa tumbo ya samaki siku tatu. Hivyo ndivyo mwana wa mtu atakaa ndani ya ardhi siku tatu na atavuka. Yeah. Sasa ngoja nikueleze leo watu hawataki. Leo watu watafuti ishara. Leo watu watafuti watafuti wisdom. Ah ah hiyo ilikuwa ya zamani. Leo watu kwa makanisa wanatafuta miujiza. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Yeah. Wengine wana kwa sababu ndoa zao ziko na shida, wana vita, wameenda wali. Zikuwa nzuri. Wengine walisikia biashara. Mtu akiwa ndani ya Yesu zinakuwa kwa kwa hivyo wanaingia kanisani. Mwingine akasikia kwamba kanisani ndio kuna wasichana wazuri. Eh, hey, watu wako kwa kanisa wakitafuta kitu. Ambia mwanzako wajana na hizo kwanza. Yesu alisema tutafute ufalme wake, ufalme wa Mungu na haki yake kwanza. Alafu hizo zingine mado zipo. Mwambie hizo si mbaya. Lakini bado siko. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe kama ni kwa mmoja sema amen. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. This is the message we preach. Christ. 
Let's have it next to next us. Verse 23. But we preach Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles. Verse 24. Ah, 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 ah. Amen. But we preach Christ crucified. A stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles. Why you do an attack on Ishara? Wangiriki wa metafuta ekima Uliza mwanzako unataka lini Usibota kutibata Usibota kutibata Ninataka usitafuta Kwanza material things Tafuta kumushika yesu Tafuta kumushika mungu Na those material things We can Kwa ama sibiu Wayoni wanataka Lakini sisi Sema Lakini sisi tumamugiri kristo Adie sulubiwa Kwa ana sifiwe. Amen. Kwa wayahudi njambo hilo ni kikwazo. Na kwa watu wa mataipa ni ufumbafu. Aleluya. Amen. Ebu sikiza ni kwa mbili. Ina wake. Do you know ina walandi ya Kenya. Wakati ni ubili ya na ubili vitu zingine. Kanisa linajia watu. Ama niya mnyo hiyo. Kama mnyo hiyo ya kaini. Kwa ana sifiwe sa. Amen. Ebu ni zami ni zimame hapa. Nihaze kwa 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 hapa. Nihaze Men and women will come here like this for our hope. But I'm going to have you to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Banners, if you will. Nataka, you really pass, Mana. But this is what we preach. Niki to Ghana, much what you know. You are. Seven of the Kiska. Banners, if you will. Like this is it, I'm really Christo. Where was the man? That was the man. Christ crucified. Fast twenty three. Somebody else. But we preach Christ crucified. Nisikiza na mu nisikiza my brothers. Sikiza. Mana udanda kubiri. Wewe udanda kubiri. Udanda kubiri. Ukienda kubiri sister mali popote na ukiubiri apa. Usiubiri kitu kingine. We preach Christ. Today men and women are preaching people as a job. Why are you there? You put the same. We don't preach makanisa. We don't preach word demo judge. We don't preach madabao. Angalia hapa. We don't preach madabao. Amen. We don't preach chumfi. We don't preach kitamba. We don't preach majia uzima. We don't preach star. Angalia Biblia yako kile kinaubiriwa ni nini na ni Paulo alisema the chief apostle what do we preach or what do are we supposed to preach in the church right thank god kwa sababu tuko kwa television watu wa television ni wazalini tuseme we preach Christ but not waje nirudie star salt Kifagio We don't preach Biblia itarusu watu wa ubiri kitu kingine In fact Kenya Kenya ndiyo watu tumeokota Vitu vya kubiri Wacha ni kanzo Star Wacha ni kanzo star Wacha ni kanzo Wacha ni kanzo Auta waisa au kama wawaiba You will never forget this Amen. 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 Amen.